Hello, this is a video tutorial on how to play MTV's Piano Grade 1 Technical Exercise Number 1. First, let's hear how it sounds. So exercise number one, it's made up of sections A, B, C, B. So the structure of this technical exercise is A, B, C, B. So let's look at section A first. Section A is made up of C chord and F chord. So it's a C triad on both hands. So we are playing the note C, E, G. Okay. Right hand using finger 1, 3, 5, and left hand using 5, 3, 1. So we press those six fingers down at the same time. And then we press E, F, and then the C chord triad again. Okay, let's repeat. So in terms of articulation, we start off with staccato. So it has a bouncy sound, very short and attached. And then we joined uh, the next three notes, what, two notes plus a chord. So we joined this E and F joined together. And to join F to the C chord, what we need to do is hold on to F. Uh, and then you press the C chord. And then you let go of the F then. So this ensures that you have a legato or a, a connected sound. So let's try that again. So the practice is you hold on to F, you press the C chord, then you let go of the F. Okay, so there's a very slight overlap. Okay, let's hear section A, the first bar again. Okay, and then next we go on to F chord. Okay, some of you might be asking, oh, why is C, F, A, F chord? That's because uh, F chord, it's F, A, C. However, you know, uh, this is in root position. And then, of course, we can play F chord in first inversion, whereby the bass is A. And this is the second inversion of F chord. If you have not studied inversions before, don't worry. Uh, it's just a different way of playing chords. So what you need to do is, is to remember that there are different positions where you can play a chord. So in this technical exercise one, you are playing a, a position where by C it's at the bottom, followed by F and then A. Okay, so practice this. So left hand fingering is finger 5 on C, 2 on F, 1 on A, and then right hand is 1 on C, 3 on F, and 5 on A. So, so some of you might be inclined to use finger 3 on F in the left hand. So um, I think it's good practice for now, especially as a beginner, to use finger 2 on F uh, because it's more comfortable this way. Okay. So play two F chords and then go back to C uh, triad. So let's hear section A. One, two. That is section A. Now let's move on to section B. So section B, uh, the first bar uh, comprises two bars and the first bar it's exactly the same as the first bar in section A. So section B you start off with okay so it's okay that's the first bar of section B and then after that you play this so it's C, uh, finger 5 on C, finger 4 on D, finger 2 on F, and right hand 1 on C, 2 on D, 4 on F. So um, what chord is this you might be asking? Um, not exactly sure, but, but it sounds like a G7 to me. Uh, G7 as in, well, some of you might say it's actually a... Uh, 
yeah actually let's go with g7 so um, why is it g7 because it's essentially g chord with a seventh okay but i don't i omit the g so i'm left with b d and f and then i'm omitting the b as well and i'm adding a c so maybe a, a G47, <laughs> possibly. Anyway, uh, so section B, the second bar would be and then you end with a C chord, although, uh, so the C chord is played with C and E only, so we don't have to play G. And why don't we have to play G? Because it's just arranged this way, it's just written this way. Okay, so section B, bottom two would be So let's hear the entire section B. F. Sorry, that's both section A and B. And now let's move on to section C. So for section C, uh, we're essentially playing a G chord, a G triad in root position, whereby we play G, B, and D. Okay. So fingers 5, 3, 1, right hand 1, 3, 5, we press it together, staccato, and then we play B, C, D, okay, so this time the pattern is different from section A and B, you just have to play B, C, D, so it's, okay. And D is a staccato, which is short and detached, so you need to lift up your fingers when you're done. Up. And then we play G next, which is also staccato. So make sure it's short and detached, and how do you do it? Um, so you, you know, go to the bottom and let the keys um, help your fingers bounce it up, uh, bounce, bounce up your hands, really. So it's... Okay, uh, and you play that twice. That's section C. Okay, and then we go back to section B, which is right. So just to recap the structure of technical exercise number one, it's A B C A. Oh, sorry, A B C B. Right. Um, and this exercise, uh, uh, the learning points is really connecting notes uh, to a chord. So, for example, connecting E, F to a chord. And also, it's uh, to learn how to play staccato, for example. A very short note uh, versus playing legato, which might sound like... It actually changes uh, the mood of the entire sound, doesn't it, of, of this music. Um, so let's hear the whole thing again. So another learning point for this um, now that I played this, it's actually to tra transition from section B to C. So in section B, you're essentially in a C position, um, whereby you a C position, and then in section C, you have to jump straight to section uh, to a G position. G position because you know the starting note is G. So to practice this jump, what you want to do uh, is, you know, position your thumb on one on C and left hand finger five on C, and move. Practice moving up from C to G, C to G, back to C, G, C, G, C, G, C. It would take some time uh, before your brain, your mind actually associates the distance between uh, C and G with a specific distance so that you can do it unconsciously and accurately. Oh, 
that's incorrect, so CG. Okay. And eventually you might be able to do it with your eyes closed as well. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, technical exercise number one. Have fun with it.